guys, it's 12.23 p.m. Sunday, March 5th, I think. Anyway, I didn't sleep well last night, which I don't when Bob's not here. And when he's here alone, he doesn't sleep well either. Like we just, we don't, when we're not together, we don't sleep well. After almost 40 years, that's what happens. Anyway, I, um, I got a cough drop in my mouth because yeah, asthma. Um, our cleaning lady's ex-husband's here fixing the towel bar. I just got off the phone with my dear friend, Cheryl, who is not doing well and she is in care and she will be for the rest of her life. Um, however long that is, unfortunately. Anyway, um, meanwhile, uh, we're getting the towel bar fixed upstairs and, 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 and. I'm going to work on a couple projects today. Just take it easy at home while I'm waiting to go back to the airport very late tonight and pick Mr. Bob up, because that's a thing. Let's hope it's not icy, because I don't like to drive in the ice. I'll be back. Bob doesn't get in until very late. Um, I don't have anything else to do with my time. I can't go out, go walking because it is pouring rain outside. So I think I'm gonna do a painting inspired by something uh, my friend's husband said to me this morning when I was calling her um, in her hospital room. As I said, she's not doing well. Anyway, let's, 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 Let's do some painting. Got to get this off of here without ripping a hole in it. But, you know, I'll be back.
I'm in the cell phone waiting area at the airport waiting for Bob's flight to land, which I think it's just about to. You know, <laughs> this, this area is a little sketchy in the daylight <laughs> when it's like 11 something at night. It's even worse and I'm pretty sure I just saw a drug deal in a car behind me. <laughs> and yes, I have glasses on. I wear glasses at night to drive. Ah, yeah, 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 I need to go home and go to bed. <laughs> I'll be back. And yes, all my car doors are locked. It's about 11.30 a.m. Monday, March, I don't know, 6th. Um, the Ulysses, uh, the handyman, has been and gone, and he's got the towel bar back up on the wall. It's all fixed. Gonna dry, let it dry for a couple of days, and then I'll, I'll paint it, paint the wall around it. Um, I have the vlog edited and saving. I didn't intend on, although I've been wanting to create a new YouTube intro and ending. I wanted something that was at least a little bit animated. Canva has um, animation um, for YouTube intros and endings. And um, I'll put a link down in the video description down there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I wasn't going to do that today, but I ended up spending like an hour and yeah, that's done. It's going to be on the vlog that airs this Wednesday. So yeah. All right. So I got that done. Got laundry started. I'm going to switch laundry loads and then I'm going to make myself some lunch. Um, yeah, I got to check on my coffee creamer because I'm not sure if I'm going to need to go to the store. Might be able to wait until tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I think Bob has a lodge practice or something tonight. And I should try to go get some walking in at some point today. We'll see. I'll be back. Yes, I'm outside by myself. All my morning video editing is done. Lunch has been consumed. Laundry's just about finished. So I'm going for a walk. Bob's got a busy Monday, as he usually does. So we don't always get to go walking on Mondays. And since we got sick before Christmas, I've just let myself be a lazy couch potato on Mondays. But I really just need to get out and get some fresh air. It's not raining, it's not snowing. It's a little chilly, but it's not too bad. So we're gonna get some steps in. I'll be back. p.m. Tuesday, March 7th. I, yes, 2 p.m. <laughs> I have been sitting over there in the corner crocheting the morning away. 
I went and ran an errand really quick that we needed to do. I'm gonna go downstairs right now and do some dishes real quick. Empty the dryer. Stretch my hands. Because I've been, since I got back from running errands, I've been crocheting for a good two, two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, that's not great for my hands now that I am older. So I need to stop and stretch, do something else less repetitive. So anyway, I am making a cardigan sweater that I'm affectionately dubbing the coat of many colors because I'm using up lots of balls of different kinds of yarn I have. Mostly wool, some wool blend, one, one acrylic. Um, at least I think I'm gonna use the acrylic. We'll see if I have enough wool and wool blend. Anyway, it is a yarn from the Hobie website. I will link it down below. If any of you wanna make the coat with me, drag out those balls of yarn and crochet hooks if you crochet and you've got the stuff. And use up your leftover yarns, stuff of a uh, similar weight. And you know what? Let's see if we can use, not only use up some of the yarn, but create an interesting sweater for ourselves, shall we? I can't wait till I get to this stage to put the buttons on it. Cause man, do I have some interesting buttons. I may just put like a whole bunch of different ones down the front of the sweater. We'll see. And my friend Kathy Whitney, who I think is gonna do one, she had the idea, if I have enough yarn, I should use her idea to put a hood on the sweater. And I love the way so far that the sweater is being assembled. It's all double crochet. Um, <clears throat> and it's the pattern seems to be very well written, very easy to follow so far. They aren't all like that. So <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm going to do some chores and then get back to it. I'll be back. Crocheting the afternoon away. Bonus, I'm almost done with one side, one half of the sweater. <clears throat> I should be able to finish up the one half tomorrow and probably start on the other one. But yeah, anyway, it's been one of those days where the computer never got turned on. Yes, my tablet's always on, but this thing, I can't say I'm mad about it. Anyway, I didn't get any painting done, but I did do something creative, i.e. the needlework. And I do think, although I was telling Kathy Whitney last night that I was worried I might not have enough yarn, I actually think I do. I've been putting the skeins as I think I'm going to need them for the first half in a pile for the second half, which is here. These are left over. Plus I can use whatever bits and bobs are left from the two halves to finish the cuffs and maybe make a hood, which I mean, I'd be okay with that. And yeah, she's pretty colorful already. I mean, She kind of looks like Granny's old quilt made into a sweater, but I like it. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be here back. this morning, sipping my coffee, waiting for my, I have an accounting appointment at 10 online. My back is to the window. Bob comes in and says, those are big snowflakes. Lucky. I mean, and it's sticking. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't, we'll see what happens. But yeah, holy cow, snow again. I'll be back. I'm out of the house today, not what I expected. But my daughter was gifted something off of the local Buy Nothing group, and but she has to work today. So she says, mom, can you go get it for me? Anyway, while I'm out, I decided to stop at Value Village, so, you know, I might as well get some steps in and shop while I am doing things. Maybe? All right, I'll be back.
Thursday, March something, 9th? I March think. 9th, just after 2.30 p.m. I have been crocheting all day working on that sweater, the second half of which is almost done. Um, yeah, it is slightly drizzling outside, but I'm gonna go try to get at least a few steps in, even if I only end up going like a block or so. I do have a raincoat, uh, raincoat, uh, umbrella, I have a raincoat on, yeah, an umbrella in my pocket. I'm gonna put my phone in an inside pocket so it doesn't get hopefully too wet. And uh, let's just get out of the chair for a little bit and stretch our legs. All right, I'll be back. Picture of the ducks and the puppy with his head over the fence. But the ducks flew away. The puppy, can you see him there in the corner? I'll try to zoom in right here. He is eyeballing me, doing his proper duty protecting the house. You know, if you're watching this, I've been crocheting all week and using up what I have, right? Because that's the whole part of fixing the flow videos. It's one of the things about that, right? Is using what we have, using up what we have before we bring in anything new, right? Um, if you haven't watched those videos, I'll put a link to the playlist down below. Anyway... I have a bunch of yarn, as I stated in those videos. Most of it's wool, wool blends. And I found a sweater on the Hobie website. It's called the Horizon Cardigan. And it's basically a gi two giant granny squares. So I have been working on that all week. And I am to the point where I need to join the two halves and then you have to add more length to the sleeves and I'm probably going to add some more length to the bottom. I'm not sure at the moment if that's in the directions or not. It looks like it is looking at the picture. I also may see if I can add a hood to this because one of my friends said something about that and it's kind of a good idea. Hold on, I'll show you what the, what it looks like so far. I'm affectionately calling it my sweater of many colors. And I think for the buttons, we're gonna be equally as colorful. You see this, but I have this entire drawer here, literally full to the brim with buttons. Some that I've bought, some that are from my grandmother. I think I'm gonna either take some fun big buttons, like this one, or and or clusters of buttons. Stack them and cluster them on top of each other, sew them together, and then use them on the sweater. I might do that. I don't know how many of these giant wood ones I have. Um, they would be cool on there too. Can you imagine? Hold on. How cool would they be? Anyway, what do you all think? I'm keeping track of how many yarn balls I use up. And so far I've used up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12. That's pretty good. Do I still have a lot left? Yes, but 12 people. And I think, I think, I think, if I'm gonna put a hood on that and add more length to it, I have plenty of yarns to choose from. This is the stack I'm picking from. I bet I can use up quite a bit more of them. Just finishing that up. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna, gonna go on to doing something else and flex my hands. I haven't done this much crocheting in a couple of decades, so. All right, I'll be back. And I was gonna turn the lights off and go downstairs, but I also wanna point out there's a couple more channels that I've recently discovered on YouTube that are about upcycling. I actually just found a third one this evening, so I'll link her channel be below. Um, anyway, one of them is Ella Harp, and she's a musician. She has a free pattern. It's not my pattern that I, I've downloaded and printed. And I like her pattern. She calls it the work 
dress pattern. It's just this very simple basic dress. I'm gonna work with this pattern, but on the other channel, she does a lot of thrifting and upcycling and creating garments out of thrifted things. I love that idea and I've done a little bit of it before. So the other day when I was out and about at the thrift shop, I picked up and at the bottom it has a hole in it, but I picked up this men's work shirt. I picked up this old navy gauzy, those two kind of, right? And then just for shits and giggles, I also picked up this one. So I think I might need to do a version of the work shirt upcycling fashion. And then I will, all of those shirts together cost me less than 10 bucks. And I will, of course, add some bits and pieces from my stash. I do have some vintage lace that I might want to put on it. And if that's the case, I might want to dye it green because um, all of it's beige, but I have to finish the sweater first. I'll be back. On the third channel that I just mentioned that I found tonight, um, I've only watched one of her videos, but it was very intriguing, especially because she was cleaning out her closet. And if you watch her video and you substitute her coat closet for your art room, it right, it really, really goes along with what I'm trying to say with the Fixing the Flow series, really making the space work for you, make you happy, um, easy to put things away, not keeping things that don't make you happy. But if you want to keep things, maybe they need to be put away somewhere else. Um, and when you're doing some kind of reorganizing, restaging thing, um, don't buy, you don't have to go out and buy stuff. Look around the house and see what you have, even if it's a cardboard box like she did for her bike parts. You should watch the video. All right. Now I'll be back. I got to do the dishes. I don't think I vlogged it all today, but you know, I didn't get a wa abstract watercolor done. So there was a Facebook account that I see in my feed sometimes. Uh, Gemma77, I think is the name. Anyway, um, I'll try to link her account down below if I can find it. Um, she took some sponge sponges, cut them roughly into a circle, wrapped them in plastic wrap, and then dabbed them into acrylic paint and made marks with them, flower type marks. I thought, huh, that's interesting. I have the stuff to do that with. I wonder if it would work with watercolor. Yes, it does. It was really fun. So I made a couple of these with a couple of different kinds of plastic. You have to use what you have. I used tape. I didn't try to tie a knot in the center of the plastic because, well, I did try, but that didn't work well. So I taped up the center like she does in the video. And then I taped up the other end too, but then I, it wasn't really sticking. So I put a little tie wrap. Anyway, inexpensive, really cute, real easy. Then I um, took some plastic packaging from the last time we bought bed pillows, I think. And I have this book from, I think the 1920s that I'm trying to work my way through. I think it's from the 1920s. Does it have a date in here anywhere? I have no idea. Anyway, it's called Tramping with a Color Box. It's an antique book. I made a clear plastic slip-on cover for it because the cover is in rough shape and I love the book. I'm really getting a lot out of reading it, but I want to protect it as much as I can. Um, so I did that out of just plastic packaging. I also worked some more on my sweater that I've been working on and I have the two pieces sewn together and the sleeves sewn up across the top. I'll put a picture of me here with it on. So now we'll be adding the hood, lengthening the sleeves, and probably adding some more rows to the bottom. So, you know, I do kind of like the big square buttons that I showed in a prior clip. I only have two of them though. I have two squares and two hearts, all red. I'm gonna try not to buy buttons, but boy, I have to tell you, I am tempted. They do have them at Joanne's. That's where those big square buttons are from. I know, right? Kids are coming over for dinner later and 
We gotta order some food. They're gonna pick it up on their way over. None of us wanna cook, so yeah. All right, I'll be back. Guys, granted it's 11.15 on a Saturday, but honestly, normally when we go to Costco, it's on Saturday. And even for Saturday, that was really crowded. It was crowded today. Holy cow. And when you start your weekly errands and grocery shopping run by going to Costco and there's a knockdown drag out in the parking lot on your way in, you just know it's going to be an interesting day. Yeah, that made my day. Made that me, was... Uh... I've Maybe never. It's uh, memorable. That's oh, well, I've never seen all the Costco employees go running so fast. <laughs> anyway. Knockdown drag out. Now we've only been to one place so far. It's already been interesting. So now we're on to Winco, and then we still have to go to Trader Joe's. So. And there were women that were. Uh, yeah. The women were Cheering. knocking each other down. Yeah. Like that was insane. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Stop. But Winco was, although busy, it is Saturday. It was uneventful. No knockdown drag outs in the parking lot. Yeah, no fights. No fights. Um, but we have not yet managed this morning to stick to the list. Yeah, we always buy more, we always, more things. We always buy extra things. So Who doesn't? I, do, I know, right? We're not, yeah, we can't ever stick to the list. We don't know how to so, do that. Who doesn't? So we're going to make one more stop and then head home. We're not sure what people are doing in the parking lot, but okay. Anyway, but there's no fights. Yay, bonus. I'll be so, back. We came home and had lunch after all the running around. Nothing else exciting happened, but we could have just been couch potatoes. We were tempted. Then we started going down the news rabbit hole, looking up the issues with Silicon Valley Bank. If you know, you know. If you don't know, Google it, because it's everywhere. No, we didn't have any money there, but Oprah Winfrey did. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Right. And Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did. Maybe. Maybe. It's unconfirmed. Yeah, unconfirmed, yes. So I hear. Anyway. Yeah, that wasn't a good rabbit hole. We're going to go walk around. We need to get some steps in. We need a few more. We haven't gotten enough yet today. And we're working hard to get it back on track with walking, so. I'll be back at 11 p.m and I'm gonna go to bed. It has been a long day, but a good one. We got a lot done, even though it started off a little weird. I mean, you know, I even got almost 14,000 steps in today, you guys. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, I hope you've all had a great week. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out the video description. I'd sure appreciate all the love and support y'all can give me, and Above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.